Hi Aries, welcome to Spirit Mail. We are going to talk about career and money. Um, while I'm shuffling, I just want to remind you on Tuesday nights we have influencer interviews at 6 o'clock Central Standard Time. And on Saturdays we do Roundtable. And if you'd like to participate in Roundtable, please send me an email at spiritmail tarot at gmail.com and those roundtable discussions are uh, at 10 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time. So right now we're going to jump right into your career and money. God guides angels, archangels, Holy Spirit. I thank you so much for my Aries friends. Thank you for tarot as a tool and thank you for clear and concise messages. We thank you for love, light, prosperity, clarification, confirmation, and validation. Show us clearly what energies will Aries be navigating as it relates to money and career. Moving on, and we have deception and envy, and we have sacrifice. Okay, so before we dig into these uh, energies, we're going to get an overall theme message for the reading and find out where spirit's going with this and then we'll get clarifiers too. God guides angels, archangels, holy spirit. Again, I thank you for Tarot as a tool and I thank you for my Aries friends. Show us clearly what is the overall theme of this reading. We thank you for clear and concise messages. We thank you for love, light, and prosperity and we thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. Okay. Rock bottom. Okay, so Aries, this, this, don't let, don't be discouraged by this card because with the energies pulled out here, I feel like, um, I can kind of see where this is going and it's a 10. So it's, it's talking about the end of a cycle too, right? Uh, in tarot, that's what 10s mean. Of course, this is an Oracle deck, but let's see, rock bottom, surrender and acceptance are the keys to your freedom. So as difficult as it may be to accept, it seems that you've reached a point where you can go no further in the same manner in which you've been doing things. Perhaps you've hit a proverbial brick wall or experienced a deep sense of loss and don't know where to turn. The old way of doing things must be discarded fully in order to move onward and upward. A new direction and a new strategy are called for. The only way out is through surrender. Accept things as they are and admit that you have no idea what to do next. If you wait in that heartfelt moment of release, then a stairway will appear, like magic, and all manner of synchronicities will show you the way to higher ground. The rock bottom card is a sign that a miracle is about to occur, but only if you let go completely. Okay, so again... Some of these cards, the names on them, they're like, ah, <laughs> it's predicting doom and gloom for me, but that's not it at all. Uh, they're just acknowledging that you're at a proverbial brick wall in your life and there's something going on that is fixing to change drastically for you uh, for the better, right? So God guides angels, archangels, Holy Spirit. We thank you again for the energies on the board and we thank you for the overall theme of this reading. Please show us clearly. Uh, what are the clarifiers that go with these energies moving on? Deception and envy and sacrifice. We thank you for clear and concise messages. We thank you for love, light, and prosperity. And we thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. Okay. So to clarify moving on, we've got the three of wands. I love it. That is such a strong energy for me, right? Um in the way that I interpret the cards. I'm an intuitive reader, right? Okay, so deception, envy, and we have <laughs> the four of wands. Again, nice, strong card. And then we have um, sacrifice, and we're coming up with queen of cups. So, I love this reading. Okay, so Aries, this is what it's saying. The proverbial brick wall, whatever it is that you've hit, you know, like possibly if you're working for a company and, and you feel like you're capped out, you've hit the glass ceiling, there's no nowhere else for you to go. You can't you can't continue to climb the ladder, uh, but you're feeling called 
to do something that's like, uh, it might be time to move on, right? And this is actually the same as the Six of Swords in the, tar in the Tarot. So it's basically saying, you're ready to move on to smoother water. You're ready, you're ready to get out of this rat race, this um, whatever it is that, that, you're, that you're in, that you're kind of stuck in this little cycle thing going on. And what it's saying is with the Three of Wands is that you're you're making a decision or you're about to make a decision within yourself where where you you say okay look I'm tired of waiting on things to happen I'm tired of waiting for things to get better uh, because they never get better they just keep going round and round and round and round uh, there's a definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result you've decided nope or the energy is there for you to tap into to find that strength within yourself to say no I'm moving myself in a different direction I'm not gonna wait see how she's waiting right uh, for those ships to come in actually in this course she's not waiting she's calling them or he's calling them to her uh, or to him that it's like you're gonna go out and make your own your own ships come in you're not gonna wait any longer for something outside of yourself to change because you know that it's what's inside that's going to truly make that changes. And you're going to grab onto this wand, the passion for yourself and your, your, uh, your right to live a life that's fulfilling for you and, and the right for you to, uh, to step into a place where, where you, um, you value not only yourself, but the people there value you too. So there's a big change looking like it's coming for you. And that's why this card came up because it's like you've hit a, this proverbial brick wall. You can go no further where you are. Things are not going to change. Okay. Then we have, and that could be something as simple as uh, getting a promotion. You can't, you can't continue to uh, shine in the position that you're in and you you have to take that step and apply for that promotion uh, you can't wait for somebody to come up to you and say hey uh, we think you're doing wonderful we want to put you here no you need to go apply for it you need to put your uh, your hat in the ring you need to say hey I'm ready consider me I'm a contender and whether it's a promotion whether it's a going to a new company starting your own company getting that book to the publishers you know or to the literary agents or whatever however that process works there's there's an action uh, by you required you're required to take an action okay so then we have deception and envy and what is clarifying it is the the four of wands okay so it's like it's like something inside of you switches and this isn't about twin flames this is a, this is a reading about career and money so when I ask spirit about career and money that's what they want to talk about and that's what they're going to talk about with us so we're looking at deception and envy how do we deceive ourselves in jobs well we keep going to the same place expecting something different that's one thing or we look at the other people who are progressing around us. We start comparing ourselves and we envy what's going on with them and wonder why can't those things happen for me. And if, I feel like Spirit's saying whenever you release all that and you walk in the fullness of, you are, you're, of who you are, you're going to find yourself on firm footing. Uh, the four of wands is, is the, it's like the four pillars, pillars that hold up the building, right? There, it makes it stable. There's no way for it to... Uh, to fall down or to or to wobble because it's on firm footing so that's what this is about it's about releasing these comparisons where you compare yourself to others uh, releasing the idea that somebody else outside of you has to make you happy in your job and that somebody else outside of you has to give you a promotion you can go apply for a promotion and if you still don't get it you can make a move to a different company that's going to give you that promotion you can you can receive a rejection letter from somebody that doesn't mean your book's not good you can send that let that manuscript to another company uh, just different things like that where you you take your life in your you take responsibility for the action that comes next right and you do it the, for me the wands are about purpose passion creativity inspiration 
and spirit communication. So in, in all of these, with this card right here, with all that passion right there, and this card right here with the passion and, and, and all these wands, it's about all of those things. So those steps that you take are inspired steps. It's like something inside of you starts to move you and bubble up from within and say, you're better than this. You deserve better than this. You work so hard. Um, you have so much to offer. So that's what moves you forward. And, and in this case, it's going to start as you stop comparing yourself with others and what their progress is and start focusing on who you are and what those things are that you have to offer. Okay, so, and the last card is sacrifice. So this is the same as the hangman card. So what they're doing is they're asking you to step back and look at things from a different perspective. It's funny how, to me, spirit seems to always lay out a story, right? Uh, you're ready to do this. You're ready to move on. You're ready to go make your own ships come in. And they're saying, this has been a little bit of a problem where you're focusing too much on the things that aren't beneficial to you. So when you change that focus, uh, you're going to find that firm footing. And then they're saying, uh, change your focus, right? They're saying that, you know, yes, you've been through a lot. Look at all this murky water. Yes, you've been through a lot. Yes, it's messed with how you thought things were supposed to be. And the reason I say that is because this murky water is up covering her root chakra and her uh, sacral chakra. So it's really messed with your idea of how things should have been in this project or this process or this company that you're with. Um, but it hasn't messed with you to the point that it's made you bitter uh, and it hadn't gotten to your solar plexus. So spirit can still communicate with you right there. They can still put that fire in your belly, right? That moves you. So I feel like this is what this is saying is step back and look at things differently. Change your focus. If you change your focus, you're going to change everything about that. And then you have the queen of cups. I love this card because what it's saying, it's reminding you that you have every capability of this queen, right? You have the ability to love yourself unconditionally, accept yourself unconditionally, congratulate yourself unconditionally whenever you accomplish something. Uh, and you step into your power by doing that. And then you allow yourself to be emotionally detached, like these feelings of, of envy, right? That's an emotion sometimes that does not serve us. So she says, okay, so uh, Betty Jo next to me uh, got the promotion and I didn't get it, but she detaches from the emotion of envy because she knows it doesn't serve her. That's something that she doesn't need to dwell on. So she moves forward saying, uh, I'm not lined up with it, or it wasn't the best that there is for me. You know, she talks herself into understanding that there's something better for her out there, but she detaches from those unhealthy emotions and from those unproductive emotions, and she moves herself forward. And because she does that, she's able to stay in that higher vibration where she feels unconditionally loving of herself, unconditionally accepting of herself, and she and because she feels that way. It permeates out into her field, and whenever she walks into the room, other people can feel that, and then they receive her as this person instead of that person who's uh, got a little bit of anger and resentment hanging on in there. So Aries, this is a really good reading. I feel like they're saying, hey, and, and this talks about, all this means is that there's a miracle about to take place. So whenever you incorporate these messages from spirit into your life, when you can receive them and take the steps that spirit's, you know, kind of saying, hey, look, let's go in this direction. Things change and miracles happen, right? They don't happen overnight. Sometimes they do. But the point is, is that, um, they happen. Okay, God guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit, I thank you so much for my Aries friends, and I thank you for the message on the table. Please show us clearly what is the PS that goes with this message. We thank you for clear and concise messages, love, light, and prosperity, and we thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. So PS, look, it's the uh, Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords is really curious. Like he wants to know stuff. So get curious. Start with yourself. Get curious with yourself. What has held me up so far? And if we look back in our, in our life, if we look back in our attitude about where we are, in our attitude about our work, 
we're going to see things that we need to take this sword and cut out, like comparing ourselves with other people, right? Be a student of who you are and then be a student of what you want to be and who you want to be and start walking in that way. But yes, definitely um, cut out the things that no longer serve you and be curious about what are those things and, and how can I make those changes to move forward uh, in a way that's more beneficial to me, right? And you have victory right here. Look, again, it just means that you're at a place where it's time for a miracle to take place. It's time for victory to come into your life, right? Uh, we don't get victory by just sitting there and doing the same thing over and over and over again. There's some kind of change happening here, but it's something that's going to benefit you in a big way. Um, and this person is not just victorious, but they, uh, there are other people looking at them saying, wow, look what they did. It's like, it's like, it's going to be such a, um, It's going to make such a difference in your life that people are going to take notice and they're going to want to know, okay, how did you do that? What did you do? And your answer is going to be, guess what? I decided to take my life into my own hands. I decided to be the one who decides whether or not I get promoted or whether or not I go forward. I decided to, uh, to walk in my bliss and to walk in the understanding of who I am and change my focus to what I can do versus what other people can do for me. And I decide to detach from emotions that no longer serve me. And that's how I move forward. That's how I'm walking in this victory. And then you have the eight of pentacles. So you're going to have pentacles coming in. You're going to have money coming in. But this is also the student and the teacher. Just what I was just now talking about, right? That, that you're going to start out by being curious about about, you know, what, what is it in your life? What is it in your attitude that's been tripping you up? What is it in your heart that's been tripping you up? And let's cut those things out. And then as we move forward, we're going to have this victory and people are going to say, wow, but guess what? We never stop learning and we never stop teaching. Our own life is a lesson for other people to look at. And, and, and other people's lives are lessons for us to look at, but our life is also a lesson for us to look at. So we, we don't only learn, but we teach as we go too, okay? And I see a lot of success here with, with an abundance of pentacles. So Aries, that is your career and money reading. Thank you so much for stopping in. Guys, I love you. The subscribes, the shares, the likes, the comments, the passersby, all that stuff. Y'all rock. Thank you so much and have a super day. Bye.